Hello, this is Mike Anderson again. Yes, today we're going to, uh, I've got uh, a problem with my pond. Uh, the wife and I was walking around the pond the other day and I noticed that there was a, a, a wet area and uh, this year we've had uh, just an extremely large amount of rain and it's been consistently every three or four days we'll have a rain and it's kept my pond full this whole spring, summer, fall, now we're getting ready to turn into winter and it's it's still completely full. And so uh, when we was walking around and I noticed that wet spot that put me on alert that we needed to do something. And uh, so I was uh, looking around trying to find out what I needed to do and uh, so uh, I was told that uh, sodium bentonite is uh, something that uh, you can pour into the water and what it does, it's a drilling product that uh, oil drillers use when they're plugging up a hole or something and they will pour this sodium bentonite in there and it'll go down into the oil well and it'll plug up all the holes to where the oil's seeping in. And so uh, that sounded good to me, so I thought that was worth a try. And uh, I have some right here. I bought six bags, uh, 50 pound bags, so I got about 300 pounds of this stuff. And so uh, I'm gonna try pouring maybe one or two of these from the from the bank, maybe wearing waders or something. And uh, then uh, I'll get in a little dinghy boat and uh, pour the rest of it a little deeper out and hopefully we'll we'll see if we can plug this hole um, yes if, if I didn't uh, if I did nothing with it I'm afraid what will happen is it, the pond is about a two and a half three acre pond and I'm afraid it has the dam is probably about 15 feet high maybe higher 20 and uh, so I'm afraid if I did nothing, then that has a possibility of if we had a big rain, another, let's say a four or five inch rain, that it could wash that bank out and I could, I could uh, lose my pond and then it would cost thousands of dollars to fix instead of, I think I paid $80 for this stuff here. So, uh, uh, I'm just, it's just going to be an insurance, at least we're going to attempt to try this and hopefully it will slow down the leak in in that pond and maybe save it. So uh, uh, bear with me and uh, we're going to uh, attempt to uh, fix this pond and it's pond dam. Thank you. Now here's an example of the leak that we have on the back side of the pond, all this water, and it's going right down there to the bottom down there. You can see all that down through there. So it's uh, making quite, quite a leak here. And uh, this is what we're hoping will plug this up and prevent all this from going down there. Over here is where we have our little dinghy and our, this area right in here is what is leaking. So uh, we uh, hopefully, I believe if we spread this bent, uh, bentonite, sodium bentonite, if we just spread it around right out in here, just maybe six or eight feet out and just this little area right in here about where the where the reeds is uh, hasn't taken hold yet I think this is the area that it's leaking so uh, we're going to uh, I'm going to spread a couple of these sacks I'm going to put my waders on and spread a couple of these sacks 
uh, on the bank here along the bank and then I'm going to get in that little dinghy there and we're going to put the other four a little further out there to where uh, hopefully it'll sink down in there and uh, stop a lot of these leaks. Okay, I've, uh, I've got my waders on, got my bent knot, I put my first bag out there, and I can tell, I can look down in there and I can see it rolling down on the bottom of the bank. So, I know it's floating a lot on top here, but there's some getting down low. I can see a little fog down there. So hopefully it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, here we go, again, I'm going to try to put another bag, I think I'm going to try putting a bag over there, and then I'm going to put another bag over there, and uh, then we'll just see what it does, and see if I need to get out in that dinghy, because I can see that stuff going out and down low, so I may not have to get in that dinghy and fall in and all that stuff. Pour this bag over here and see what it does. Another thing, this little willow came up this year, and willows is not good for pond banks, but I can't get nothing over here until it all dries up before I can pull that willow out of there. So uh, it'll have to dry up before I can pull that willow, but it don't need to be on this bank either because it'll cause problems too. bag on here and I'm gonna run this over on this side and I think this is primarily where the leak is so hopefully this will all help and it says on the instructions not to breathe this stuff so I'm trying to keep most of it downwind from me
Okay, there's three bags so far. And I can see that it's, it, some of it is settling down into the ground, into the bottom. So uh, hopefully it'll do what, it, what they claim it'll do. So I still got three bags. I think what I'll do is move that boat and uh, I think I'll spread a little more over that way and a little more down that way and uh, then I may bring that boat over here and just leave it on the bank get out near the end of it and pour it out along out there so uh, we'll try that and see if that helps But I think the biggest part of the leaks is coming right out of here, right in this area. The leak that I see on the back side of this dam is directly behind us there. So uh, hopefully we will be nailing it right here. I'm going to pull this the bank a little bit. I think I'll just take a bag of that out there and just spread it around out there and see if that helps. I think we're putting it where the leak is so uh, I'm gonna put a little more another sack down here and uh, spreading it out a little bit since I still got a couple of sacks Now the proper way of putting this sodium bentonite into the pond is normally what you would do is the pond would be down and you would mix it in with the soil with the pond low and uh, till it in, mix it all in with the soil and probably put a, a ton of it in here 
but uh, under the circumstances I felt like it was that uh, hopefully this right here will work and uh, the need the need that we have for plugging this hold these holes up and uh, so we're gonna hold cross our fingers and and hope for the best and uh, I've got one more bag and I think what I'll do is I'll spread a little more up there and that should and I might put half of it down here and half of it up there and that should cover my zone of where I believe the leak is or leaks Okay, I got that. Now we'll come over. Pour this in over here. We have very little wind today. And that's what I was hoping for today. So this stuff doesn't go wandering all over the pond and stays in primarily in this little area. So uh, we're going to give it a few days and uh, keep an eye on it and crossing our fingers, hopefully it will plug up the hose and save our pond dam. Because uh, if we had a, a big rain right now, one of those rains where you get three or four inches of rain just in a short period of time, I'm afraid it might just wash this dam away. So uh, uh, hopefully we'll get this stopped. And it'd be nice if uh, good old Mother Nature would slow down with the rain because uh, we've had enough. And... Uh, let some of this pond go down a little bit to where it's not such a burden on this uh, pond dam. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get back with you and let you know the results. Thank you. Bye.